Good morning students. Last video we have dealt with certain terms, chromosomes, chromatin fibers, genes, DNA. Hope all of you have revised it well. Today we will start with cell division in very brief. Reproduction is not taking place or addition of cells are not taking place just by adding something externally. It is an internal process by the division of cell the number of cells increase and multicellular organisms formed. There are two types of cell divisions, mitosis and meiosis. Let us go in very brief. Mitosis is the cell division where the chromosome number remains same in the daughter cells as the parental cell. Here I am going to draw a um, parental cell. This is a cell from homo sapien, human being. So you know the number of chromosome in a body cell of a human being, homo sapien is 46, isn't it? So in mitosis, these two daughter cells will have the same number of chromosomes, that is 46, 46 each. This kind of a division takes place in mitosis. The chromosome number remains same in the daughter cells or the reproduced cells from the parental cell. This kind of division taking place only in somatic cells or body cells. Somatic cells for example your skin cell, muscle cell, nerve cells etc. Whereas in meiosis the parental cell suppose it has 46 chromosome. After meiosis, daughter cells will have half number of chromosomes. It means 23 each. Suppose homo sapien somatic cell, then the these two daughter cells will have half number of it. So the chromosome number is represented in mitosis. The full set, it is denoted as 2n number. 2n which means diploid. The term used is diploid. Here in meiosis, full set is not present, half number. Reduction of the chromosomes takes place. That is why this uh, cell division is also known as reduction division. So this is denoted as n number of chromosomes, which is otherwise called haploid. Where is meiosis taking place? Meiosis taking place only in sexually reproducing organisms. You know that gametes means the reproductive cell which are the sperm cell in the male and the egg cell in the female. Where are the sperms produced? Spermatogenesis taking place in the testis. You know that. Like that eggs are produced in the ovaries. So when the testis cells give rise to sperm cells, which division taking place? Meiosis. That is the reduction. Cell division takes place in the formation of spermatogenesis. That is a sperm production. Like that, egg production also taking place by meiosis in the ovaries of a female body. I will show it once again. Suppose this is a cell of a testis of a human being. Homo sapien testis. The chromosome number is 46 again because this is a somatic cell. Testis cells are also coming under somatic cells. So all the cells of our body are somatic except the reproductive cells that is gametes or germ cells, uh, sperm cell and the egg cell. So since uh, testis is also coming under somatic cells. You have to show the full set. I am showing here the testis of a human being. That is why 46. When this testis undergoes meiosis, what is happening? First, the duplication. That is 46 chromosomes will become double and it will be 92. Then each one separates and forms 46 46 and again forms four cells that is four sperm cells are formed these are the different steps 
Actually, you don't have to learn in detail about the different phases in mitosis or meiosis. You just understand here four cells are actually made from one parental cell and each will have each sperm will have 23, 23, 23, 23 since this is the human sperm cell. Testis cell has 46. One testis cell, four sperm cells are formed and each will have half of the number of the chromosome as the parental cell. So this is called meiosis. This 23 half set is represented as N number that is haploid. Whereas in mitosis, which happening in somatic cells, that is all the cells of our body except the reproductive cells, the chromosome number remains same in the daughter cells. So that's all uh, the differences. Uh, I will tell you a clue. Mitosis taking place in somatic cells. So T for somatic cells and T is here in mitosis also. This can be a clue to remember mitosis happening in somatic cells. This is just a clue. I think um, mitosis and meiosis are clear to you. You don't have to learn in detail. Again I repeat those who are interested uh, they can learn in detail about the different phases in mitosis and meiosis of course it is not in your ncrt syllabus now let us move to the next topic this is dna replication otherwise known as dna copying we are going to study in a very brief manner last video i said chromosomes the hereditary units of organisms and the chromosomes work in pairs chromosomes work in pairs and all uh, later on in the next chapter heredity chapter so i'm not going in detail about that for the time being you just understand the chromosomes always work in pair in all somatic cells whereas in the reproductive cells due to the meiosis it is present in single not in pairs in the pairs one chromosome is the paternal one and the other is the maternal one. Suppose the red color is the paternal one and the uh, blue color I am representing as the maternal one. We have already seen the segments, the coded segments, the functional segments. What do you call these segments of the DNA strand? Genes. So this is a gene which is shown on the paternal strand and this is a gene on the maternal strand. Now we are going to learn what is meant by DNA replication or DNA copy. At the time of cell division, I have already told you like the parental cell, suppose a human being a cell it is, then it is 46 and the uh, mitose cell also has 46. How is it possible? This is possible by DNA replication. That is the cell division or at the time of reproduction from a parental cell to the daughter cells. The basic event is DNA replication or DNA copy. What is actually happening here? The parental cell, human somatic cell has 46 chromosomes. I am going to show you one pair of chromosomal pair so like this how many will be there 23 will be there 23 into 2 46 so this is a chromosomal pair like this 23 will be there in the somatic cells suppose this is this chromosome has to duplicate and become double that is this 46 has to duplicate and become double that is 46 into 2 90 2, this 92 will segregate into two daughter cells. This is what happening. What is happening in a single chromosome? I am going to show a chromosome here as a ribbon shaped structure and uh, DNA is represented in the simple way like this. This chromosome has to become 2. Isn't it? If 46 has to become 92 it means each chromosome has to become 2 in this case what is happening the DNA strand which makes the chromosome 
first separate that is suppose here I have shown the pattern strand and the maternal strand so what is happening the pattern strand and the maternal strand separate understood this is the first step when the cell divides the DNA strands get separated from each other this is enzyme controlled action so the separation of the DNA strands takes place first then what is happening the next step is each strand will make a copy of it for example suppose this is a strand it will make a copy I am showing here with a dotted line so this is the uh, copy of the original strand and like that the other strand will also make a copy of it how the copying is done this is also enzyme controlled uh, chemical reaction which is taking place in the cells so now you see from a single strand copy is made another strand that is maternal strand makes a copy of it and paternal strand also makes a copy of it. Now how many DNA molecules made? Two. From one strand, two strands are made. Like that, one chromosome becomes two. This is how duplication of the chromosome is taking place in the cellular division. Now this two will make two chromosomes. And again they will work in pair. This is how one chromosome is becoming two. So DNA replication taking place at the time of cellular division. This is also known as DNA copying. Here for at first the DNA strands double stranded molecule get separated from each other each strand makes a copy of it then they again go for pairing that is these two you can call are the sister chromosomes or homologous pairs of chromosomes this is how in somatic cells chromosomes work in pair and in mitosis Chromosome number remains same in the parental cell and the daughter cells. Error in DNA replication. What is the meaning of it? Let us come back to the DNA strands. This is one DNA molecule which has two strands, one maternal and the other paternal. At the time of DNA replication, as I told you already, the strands get separated from each other. This is a chemical reaction controlled by the enzyme activities or according to your NCRT book the language used is uh, controlled by the biochemical processes taking place in a living cell. So the strands get separated. After separation each strand will make a copy of it. A complementary strand is produced. Now you can see here two strands. Now you can see four strands here. This is what you learnt DNA copying or DNA replication. Now what I am going to tell you. Even though the copy is made. The new strand formed is not exactly the same strand. There are differences. This is known as error in DNA replication. The new strand formed is not exact same copy due to the difference in the enzyme actions which are uh, controlling this replication. In other language, due to the irreliable biochemical processes of a cell the copies formed are not exact copies. There are variations. This is how from one chromosome, two sister chromosomes are formed. 
This is how the DNA is duplicated. In the duplication, the copy made is not exactly same. This is termed as error in DNA replication. Error in DNA replication is due to the irreliable biochemical processes. That is, the enzyme activities are not always same. Now, the point to be noted, suppose this is a DNA strand, this is a copy. If the variation is minimum, this is happening in asexual reproduction, variations minimum. Whereas, you know that in sexual reproduction, uh, one is the strand from the father, other is from the mother. So, that is why the variations will be maximum because of two individuals involved, two different chromosomes. Whereas in uh, asexual reproduction, a single parent cell, a single parent is involved. That is why variations will be minimum.